watching Newsday TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jasmine Anderson. We're celebrating Women's History Month here at Newsday, highlighting changemakers and trailblazers with ties to Long Island. We begin with astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, who just led the returning crew of four astronauts back from space. The Baldwin native took the time to inspire Long Island students while she was up at the International Space Station. Hello, Camp Anchor. Can you hear me? The Marine helicopter pilot from Baldwin spent six months at the International Space Station. This next group of young women can also be an inspiration for future generations to come. Six sisters overcoming adversity and now in nursing school together. Sherry Einhorn caught up with the studying sisters. Non-electrolyte. But I already know potassium chloride is an electrolyte. Meet the Lauren sisters, six dynamic young women who have a deep love for each other, dedication to their studies, and commitment to their craft. They're all in nursing school here at Adelphi University, ranging in age from 18 to 26, they tell me. They just make it work. They always argue, but we tend to work together because we still have deadlines at school. Listen, you said they argue. <laughs> Do they argue and you don't? Um, I argue too. I'm just the least arguer. Yeah, I'll say that. Are I'm they going to agree with that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they will argue that opinion. They graduated together from SUNY Old Westbury with a bachelor's in public health, and they'll be getting their master's from SUNY Downstate in May, just in time to start their nursing clinicals here at Adelphi in the fall. I could have gone for being a doctor, but I feel like being a nurse is just that much more intimate with your patients. I like to be very intimate with people, connect with people, Take care of people. One, one, zero. They have several classes together, and as you might imagine, they do get noticed. They will call attendance, and we already know what's going to happen. So they will call attendance, and they're like, you all have the same last name. Our dynamic, when we're in all the same classes, we actually play on each other's strength. Some are better at math, others science. They all say they chose nursing because they felt called to it. I'm the one that gets to help people through that process of healing, and I'm the one, thank God, that gets to help people um, understand health care more. The sisters have faced some challenges as a family. They were homeschooled after becoming homeless for a time and are staying with a relative in Brooklyn for now. They are religious and spiritual and say they don't dwell on what could happen. To be a nurse, you really have to be dedicated because it is a difficult program. And um, clearly they've shown, uh, you know, grit and ability to kind of persevere against all odds. And we are really proud that they're going to be part of our, our program. Has, is the other one. Lauren is interested in becoming a labor and delivery nurse. They're very hands on, not only not only just um, for the patients, but they help the doctors as well. They're like the mediator, the middleman. They make sure they get the message through and they make sure they make, give a sense of calm to the um, patient. So what's the plan for when the schooling is all finally finished? Well, the sisters tell me their ultimate goal is to open a medical practice together. But for now, it's about making their childhood dreams become a reality. When I was younger, I used to have this little imaginary hospital I made out. I called it Nursery Lawrence, and I would take care of all my sister's wounds and everything. In Garden City, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV. What a legacy. A growing number of women are getting more involved in a business long dominated by men. The wine industry of 35 Long Island Wine Country Group members, five of those winemakers are women. Newsday spoke to one of them who climbed the career ladder in the industry. My first harvest was in 2011, and I've worked my way up in the cellar ever since. Uh, I was assistant winemaker for a number of years before now becoming head winemaker for Bedell. She is the second woman winemaker at Bedell Cellars, which was founded in 1980. Cheers to these women. Also on the East End, a popular shopping center is dominated by women-owned businesses. Virginia Huey has a story you'll see only in Newsday. When you stroll along the brick pathways of the shops at East Wind in Wading River, you'll likely be greeted by female entrepreneurs. Hi, welcome to A Pinch of Sprinkles. I'm the owner, Melina Guthrie. Hi, welcome to the Jewelry Box. I'm Judith Mamola, the owner. Hi, my name is Samai Reed, and my business is Help as well. Half of the 28 shops are owned by women. 
from floral arrangements for special occasions to arts and crafts workshops to fresh baked cupcakes and cookies to wedding gown alterations. I love my job and I make a lot of people happy with my job. Each business owner showcases her unique passion and talent. Patricia Kazmarczyk opened Cheese and Spice Market seven years ago after working in the restaurant business for decades. I think it's just a matter of women that really want to you know, do their own thing, work for themselves and not work for someone else. Summer Spagnolo and Jenna Aiello opened a custom children's party place in 2022 with their daughters in mind. Me, I have a daughter, she's two, and Jenna has two daughters. Um, it's nice to show like our, our little girls that you can have a business and you know be able to be a mom too. The ladies say the sweetest reward of working among so many women business owners is the support and inspiration they get from each other to succeed. I was like, this is so great, this is empowering. I belong to such a wonderful group of women. Something I've learned from the other women business owners is that we are really strong and we can do hard things and as long as we just, you know, we keep putting our best foot forward, we, we can do anything. An uplifting community of women entrepreneurs where camaraderie and empowerment are in the cards. In Waiting River, I'm Virginia Huey for Newsday TV. From the present to the past, One Long Island College was once a leading publisher for women's writing. SUNY Old Westbury was home to Feminist Press Publishing Company from 1971 to 1985. It was founded by women's studies teacher Florence Howe. She led the group with a focus on publishing books that address gender gaps. The press is still around today. One female apprentice jockey from Long Island is making history. Jamie Stewart has a story you'll see only in Newsday. 24-year-old Madison Oliver is loving life, especially when it gets a little messy. Super Chow still there. It's Super Chow up by a length. Super Chow drifts but does it again, and Super Chow wins the Tom Fool. I feel like I get to live more and like those minute, that minute, two minutes that I'm riding the horses and some people get to live in a year. Oliver, who lives in Valley Stream, made history last month when she became the first female apprentice jockey to win a graded stakes race in New York when she won the Toboggan Stakes. But it's going to be Super Chow and Jockey Madison Oliver. They win the Toboggan. How much fun are you having? So much. Some days more than others, but so much. It's the best. First introduced to horses when she was just 14 months old. My mom just threw me up there. She jogged off with me, just left me hanging there, bouncing in the saddle. Apparently I had a great time. Madison has worked her way up the ranks, winning multiple graded stakes races at Aqueduct and shedding her label as an apprentice jockey. So now she's just one of the guys. I want to look like I'm riding like a guy. I don't want to look like I'm riding like a girl. Being a female in a male-dominated sport isn't the easiest thing, but Maddie says the jockeys and trainers here at Aqueduct have been nothing but great to her. And as for the horses, Maddie says she brings something a little different to the track. I find that I have soft hands. Force and strength is great, and it works with, with a, in a lot of ways, but sometimes a gentle touch can help as well. Madison says the goal is to keep her soft hands, but add a little more muscle. After that, who knows where this sport can take her. After you win a race and you say to yourself, wow, I can really do this, what are the ultimate dreams? Sky's the limit. Even if it gets a little messy. For Newsday TV, I'm Jamie Stewart. Great story, Jamie. Thank you. You're watching Newsday TV. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Women's History Month.